Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Kazoo Reich, my friends. I'm your host, Mr. Uh, uh, China Lover, uh, and right now we're doing Japanese investment in shipping and tourism. Ever since the establishment of its Yamato Hotel Line, Montetsu has actively promoted tourism in Fengxiang, drawing wealthy and middle-class tourists from the home islands to travel about Manchuria's exotic landscape on its state-of-the-art railways in all that time, however. It has never extended its tourist ambitions to the sea. A small group of wealthy investors from Tokyo now intend to partner with several local shipping companies and establish a waterborne alternative to Montetsu's railway tourism while performing shipping services on the side, thus creating Bohai waterborne enterprises. None of this would be possible without our efforts to encourage Sano Japanese business partnerships. Uh, good news, and then block the investment. So, I don't want to get in pure fury also to do this one, Manchurian Model Series, which I do want to do. We need at least 30% support for the Concordia Association, so it is what it is. Voted in the Constitution. Um, I honestly can't remember if I've read this one, so... The 1923 Constitution was rightly recognized as China's most modern, but sh the sheer corruption of Cao Kun's Zili clique made its proclamation ring hollow, and its Im implementation impossible. Since 1928, when Feng Shuan passed the torch of republicanism, the Constitution has remained suspended due to strategic necessity. The time has come to destroy the old Constitution and resume elections. Nice. Um, we've got quite a few comments to go through, and, uh, yeah, we'll do actually pretty darn well. This episode... Um, I got some big plans, and we're also, we're also attacking Tibet too, I forgot about that, yeah, Tibet, yeah, Tibet's gotta go, but, you know, what else is new? So I did say we want to get up to 30%, they're actually really low at 15, so I, I like it at 15, but we're gonna get to at least 30, and it's gonna be relatively easy going this direction. So, the Kwantung Protocol. In light of the growing friendship between our two nations, the Kwantung Army has petitioned Japan's Army Ministry to increase cooperation. This is set to include the transfer of weapons and technology as well as training. All we need to do is add our signature to the prepared document, though accepting will play straight into the hands of the Concordia Association. It is what it is, but it's all for a good cause in the end. You never forget that. It's all for a good cause. Uh, we'll do this one eventually. Interest in Manchuria. Uh, I'm more worried about coring things. Oh, look at this. This is really nice. Good job, guys. <clears throat> but yeah, just trying to do the best possible job we can here, so. Um, give me one of you who's moving up. Here, come here. Destroy those divisions. Oh, so, so beautiful. Nice. So good. And we'll go there, too. Nice. Alright, anything else? Head of intelligence would be good. The riches. Finish army reform. Oh, yes, please. I would love to do that. And war propaganda, so we really need more political power, but we just don't have a lot. We really just don't have a lot, which sucks, but... It is what it is. So you guys actually... Uh, actually, I have you guys up here. Yeah, head on over down here and start bombing the Himalayas. <sighs> Nothing like bombing the Himalayas, right? So... Oh, the Ukraine is doing really well. But the Socialist Republic of Italy is doing... Oh, okay. I'm wondering, what happens if we take out Mr. Lots of Facial Hair? Um, I kind of want to go to war with them, I'll be honest. Take to the seas just because... Uh, actually, are they in, by themselves? This is the Third International. The Eastern Front of the Third International. If we go to war with them, we go to war with a lot of different people. But what did they lose? Because the Reichspact is looking very good. Like, this is ridiculously good. And if we open up another front for these guys, like, they have a lot of divisions, but this will guarantee us that we'll be okay. So what happens if we justify on them? Oh. It might not be perfect. But it might just be the best thing that we could do and claim some of these Asian territories. Because we don't need our army right now, do we? Of course not. We're just trying to invade Tibet. And we got horses for that, so. Kwantung Protocol, very good. And we need time to core stuff, so I think that's probably... Hey, Zhang Zuliang! Nice! Hello there, Zhang. Nice mustache. The Kauri League nominates a new economic minister. So if you don't know about that, please go right ahead for about Pan Fu. Oh, daily political power. That's not bad. The Kauri League. Um, let's not do him for now. This is looking okay-ish. It's not great. I hope it continues to go up. It's probably not. Uh, we'll see. Re restructure the China Flying Corps. Obtain Japanese instructors. Let's do that. The Japanese field a modern military and industrial sector comparable in strength and discipline with any in the West. Given that the Japanese government is willing to provide instructors free of charge, we should take this opportunity to build a force our enemies will envy. Get a bonus for land induction. We'll get more Concordia. And they do get some intel over us, but in the end, it won't matter. We'll be okay. I hope. Got to hope. And everyone else is in the faction with us, which is really good. Even though even though we're trying to attack other people, and that's not so good, but whatever. Whatever. We'll do the best we can, you know? We'll do the best we possibly can. But Zeng is learning a lot. Look at that. He's learning a lot. So which is awesome, 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 awesome. Awesome. Keep training, keep training. We're not there yet. 
And we will fight the Japanese in the, by the end of this campaign, I promise you that. As we're building up roads in Yushu, because supplies are really bad. We're getting more military factories. We're trying to get more uh, synthetic refiners eventually in more cities, which is always, always great. And extractors, or extraction. Go and grab that too. Even though we have more stuff, we could... Uh, it'll be okay. It'll be alright. We could really use a little bit more fuel, but whatever. Overall, not bad. What is this? Many divisions. Can we actually attack here and do well? Well, maybe, yeah. Air speed is looking it's like it's going up a little bit, which is nice. And Ningxia province? How many people is that? That's really not that many people. I might prefer because we doing we did Hainan, I think, or Hunan. Yeah, because that's 23 million people down here, which is awesome core. Look at that. We had 900,000 manpower now. So Inner Mongolia, no. Sichuan. 19 million. Hubei? 2 million. Not worth it. Hainan. 16 million? Yeah, that's not bad either. And Guangxi. Guangxi has, honestly, not as many people as I thought they would. So, Cheetah. I love Cheetah. Cool. Is this a dumb idea? Oh, you bet it is a dumb idea. But this basically guarantee, should guarantee a Reichspact victory over Russia. Should, right? Alright. Obtain some extractors. And... G Guo Haikaku. The Japanese comment recommended that our military industrial enterprises would adopt a strategy of comparing business results or Jigyu Hikaku, in which proprietary data on production is disclosed. They will then rank performance and dispatch consultants to improve our industrial methods. This should boost production, though it'll give the Japanese plenty of information about a military industry. So that's fine. You know what? It's fine, whatever. We'll get out of there. They won't beat us, I promise you that. And I'm distracting a lot of the soldiers from the front lines. You guys are actually holding on very, very well. Like, I'm surprised how well they're doing. And these guys got invaded, too. Well, before we let time go on too far, how many, you have a million manpower. You guys have some. You guys have... You're stacked, and you guys have some as well. The fall... Barcelona! Is this a dumb idea? Oh, you bet it is. France. Is anyone else here that we really need to worry about? Um, no, we, Norway, Communist France, Iberian Federation, Nicaragua, Cuba, Chile. This should be okay to go to war with them, right? And we just need that army XP as well. And we're still worth the bet. Hopefully, Japan does not want to kill us off either, so. It's probably a bad idea. If it's really bad, then so be it. How bad? How, how, how full strength are these guys? We could get some volunteers, but I don't really care too much. Whoa, hello. I like comparison, that's the most important thing. We're doing okay-ish here. Cuba? Yeah, that's fine. Dominion to Canada. That's okay with us. Close out of that for now. And like I said, we do have some comments to go through, so we'll give it some time first before we do that. Uh, both go here. You could probably... Ooh, that is a capital. That's going to be pretty... Oh, collapse of the Union. Ooh, you might not be able to get there then. Maybe you can. Maybe you'll see. Come on, keep, please keep bombing them. Uh, it's yellow-ish. And these guys are covering most of the coast for us, so... Uh, maybe we can't get down there. That sucks. Keep trying, though. Because overall, this stuff is not too bad. Uh, all our allies are in. Yeah, not bad so far. It's a lot better than I thought it would be. So th they should really be feeling the... Hello? I don't think we deserve the Socialist Republic of Italy. I, I don't know who does. Maybe you guys? The Italian Federation? Holy crap, that's a lot of score. Ah, that's not that bad, actually. But like I do say, we do have some comments to go through, so. And there you go. Good job, guys. Italy United. Well, sort of, like. Sort of. It's fine, whatever. Cool. We have a lot of different types of division templates here. Oh, Agent Capture, that sucks, bro. Scavenger, and not bad. Alright, cool. Ah, uh, that sucks. We'll get there. We lost 24,000. These guys have lost a lot of guys. We haven't killed that many, but of course, then we just started it anyway, so. If we can knock these guys out, then the Rock's Pack will definitely win. Oh, yeah, I got you didn't win here either. That's fine. What happened to our allies? Oh, that's not good. 
Yeah, it's gonna take a little longer than I anticipated, but then again, that's my fault. Um, Zane Cleek, new economic minister. Well, I'd love to have Zen son, but whatever. Oh, cuz the villain second is dead. No, that's not good. Now, if you guys are attacking us, this actually makes me feel a lot better. Nice. It is 41. Let's grab some better artillery. Good. Yeah, honestly, this is it's probably really good. Ukrainian state. A bunch of national populace or paternal autocrats. Go to Patsky. You still got some good fight in you. Where are these guys at? That's not bad. I'll be honest, it's looking pretty bad for the communes. Third international is not looking good. No, is it? The Entente. I think that we had the the failure at Halifax conference, but Belgium is they doing they doing some work. They do be doing some work over there. Oh, I will get extract natural gas. I'd love to, but I want to quarterly something else first. Please. Can we not win here? Oh, that makes sense. They do have tanks. But Zang, you got anything for us? Expert delegator? Yes, please. Yeah, why not? I almost never choose that one, so I'm okay with that. We'll trade away for one of these as well. Danubian Federation. It's weird when we're buying fuel from them, but okay. And what percentage are we at with these guys? 24%. We're getting close. We're getting close. Is that Batsu Investments? Yeah. By opening our armaments industry to the Zaibatsu, we are inevitably invited, inviting increased Japanese influence in Manchuria. However, they can provide more money than we could ever afford to spend, and their manufacturing processes are far more sophisticated than our own. Nice. And then throw the Japanese out. As we should. Nice. Keep going, guys. You're doing a great job. We're not on the board yet. God dang it. But we do have 92. So, we can come down to, where is it here? Sichuan? Yeah, let's go to Sichuan. Right. 19 million is just so nice. Nice, there you go. Don't have a lot of political power, but that's alright. And my goal is just to distract these Russians. Distract them, distract them, distract them. The Germans have got to be doing well over here. We have Syria. Also, we have the Socialist Republic, but we have the Golestan Pact, which is kind of cool. Oh, did they push out of here? Oh, boy. That's not really idea, now, is it? No, it's not. Keep bombing them. Keep bombing them. When in doubt, what do we do? We keep bombing them. Similarly, our production is very nice as well. Still 41, of course. So, artillery would be nice. Tanks. I'm not sure how much we're going to really be using tanks. Light auction is coming along, though. And grab some lighties. Lighty whities Cool. Keep going. I mean, fi we're finding a land war in Asia. What do you expect? We're finding quite a few land wars in Asia, actually. Oh, guys, going again. He's learning though. He's still learning a lot. Nice. Getting slightly more fuel. Ozzy by John's looking pretty good. Wow. Wow. That's insane. They've been cut off down here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Wow. This looks so bad for them. I've never seen them do this before. Then again, I don't play a lot of Kaiserreich. Some comments include, though, like, Kaiserreich? Not Kaiser Redux? That's pretty normie, Mr. Mocha Lover. I'm like, yeah, I know. Pretty normie. Uh, yeah, this, this definitely helped them out. Holy crap. It's kind of intense here. Another comment said, play as Serbia. And someone says, proclaim China. Another person says, proclaim China. And a third person said, proclaim China, with like five upvotes at the time of this recording. But someone also said, be prepared when you uh, do it, just because... We might be going to war with a lot of different people at the same time, so we'll see. Keep going, guys. And did you know he loves drugs? He's a substance abuser, apparently. That's right. Good, good, good. He's level 7 attack. That's pretty darn decent, not gonna lie. Still building? Nice. Are they still attacking? Oh, we actually pushing back. Look at that. Nice. Good job, guys. Yeah. If we could attack from this side, that'd be great, but apparently we cannot. We just need more planes. A bigger industry. Which we're trying to get, so. We need, well, we're okay on guns for now-ish. Artillery, planes, guns, just, our industrial base is just not very good. All right.
Not bad. Not bad overall. Hey, attritional containment. Nice. More organization. We'll finish our line doctrine with more recon for recon and more reinforced straight. Do we even have, do we even have recon on our guys? Ooh. Then again, we can't even afford it right now, so. Legation city that supplies the troops. Everyone about that, please go ahead. Good news. I'm just waiting to integrate this area too. 35 days. Hey, the fall of Paris. Nice. Wow. This is the most multicolored France I've ever seen. You got some yellow, you got some blue, you got some green, you got some gray. Two Sicilies now owns Barcelona, which seems kind of reversed from his, from the historical side, but whatever. These guys are not giving up with a fight, but hey, look at that as well. 142? Fine with me. Just because no matter how much we're winning or losing, we're getting that army XP and making our army a modern force to be reckoned with, so. Oh, wait, what? Sorry. Oh, sorry. I'd love to do this, but nah. America's looking pretty good. Oh, wait. The Union of Britain invaded Canada. They're going to MacArthur. Hold on now. Yeah, I might be focusing... They're focusing on the Canada, the Canadians, who are out of fuel somehow, while they're giving up basically in Europe. Like, what the heck? Robert Taylor Jones. Never heard of you. All right, so then Zebot. Two investments. You know, a little more aluminum. And where are we at for Concordia? I hope we're close. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Yes. 100 days, lose slightly more political power, but that's okay. 20%. So after this one, we should have enough, which is honestly too much for me personally. For these guys, revive rural reconstruction would be... Gr oh, hello. Would be great to do. I'd love to do that. I want to get this stuff done. Wow, weekly stability goes down. That sucks. China welfare fund, huh? Look at that lag. Holy crap. It's not bad. You can lose some consumer goods, but towards the third principle. Hmm, not great, but whatever. Uh, Manchurian model cities. Oh, look at this. Yes. Japan sometimes goes to surprising lengths to portray its role in Feng Chiang as one of the benevolent paternalism. To which end, Mantetsu plans to install state-of-the-art electric electrical, sewer, and tram systems in the major cities of Shenyang, Changchun, and Habin. Gain some national legitimacy, which is what I wanted, and get more compliance growth and more stability and bonus political power. So that's this is exactly what I wanted, but obviously we're going to get rid of the, the Japanese influence eventually. Like, trust me, we're really going to be getting rid of that influence. Hmm. I know it's not really great attacking, but whatever. But this is all a distraction. Now, these that helped out the German Empire probably by a massive amount. Now they can send most of their soldiers to the east, where we're struggling a little bit now, so... Get ready to do that. Zhang Zulin, you're leading a country, but you're also, uh, you know, general. You're, you're bu very busy. We are social conservatives. As someone did want us to become social conservatives, so. We'll get there. Right, cancel. What? Oh, we're really out of already, aren't we? There you go. Treat it off a little bit more. Anything down here? Nope. Just still kind of hanging out. Wishing that we could do a little bit more, but whatever. Keep it, keep it there for now. Don't worry about it too much. As much as I want to attack, that'd be kind of a waste of lives. So you guys have got to be dying. You've got to be dying here. Yeah, they're running out of manpower. Which is not very close at all, but still. We do, we can't. They have no guns, though. Which is pretty nice to see. So let's, we could do some concentrated attacks, maybe? Like here -ish? No. Maybe, maybe not. Uh... Yeah, I don't want to attack that tank division. Over here would not be too bad, though. If we get a circle division, that'd be great. This is mountains, but still. Oh, wait, what do you mean we have enough millies? We could use a thing of rubber from Siam. Let's grab one. And aluminum from the German Empire? Why not? Cool. So keep making them tactical bombers for now. It's more already since we need it. Nice. Looking good. Looking good. Over here, we can send both of you. Like that. Cool. Yep, they're definitely advancing a little slightly, 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 slightly. And Barty comes on two-front war, which is very nice. Do you think about this? I just want to attack, man. I just want to just nail them and wail on them. Shigatsu. Nice. Not bad. And we'll finish your army reforms, which would be great. And yeah. 
Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's guys move around a little bit more. That's fine. anti and stuff. Uh, Alright, first department, maybe? Sure, Morocco. Just for you, buddy. Just for you. Cool. Hmm. You might be able to win over here, but it, they are surrounded by uh, or by a river, so maybe not. That kind of sucks. I can't imagine these guys keeping it up, though, honestly. Like, literally out of art infantry equipment. Two front war. Even the Danubian Federation in Finland's up here, so. It's pretty laggy, though, which sucks, but whatever. Um, yeah, I'd love to attack over river, but we just don't have the numbers for it. Oh, we do have an assignment here. Look at that. Exactly what we wanted. Go figure. Another circumference? Go figure! Very good! Yeah, they're definitely pushing in a little bit more. It's awesome. Alright, you guys are all here. Go in. You should be able to win there. They might have a fort there, but... Then again, I've been wrong before. Look at that manpower now. 1.9 million. Just beautiful. Now, Japan's going to have quite a bit of uh, influence over us, but... The recovery league... I'd love to, but we cannot lower our influence just yet. And as soon as we get that one done, well, 41% influence, which is really bad. I get it. Really, really bad. But we're going to get rid of that influence immediately, if we can. Gain some national legitimacy. It's not bad. Actually, what's the legitimacy right now? Yeah, if we keep getting more national legitimacy, that'd be really good. Where, uh, that's not too bad, actually. That's not too bad. It hurts the population, but whatever. Collaborative equipment design. Yeah, well, we got to wait for that one. Um, mm. Diversify army production. Yeah, I like that. The Shenyang Arsenal has always been a mass of a totally centralized operation. One with a single plant and sub factories in the Shenyang area, accounting for the entirety of the Northeast armament production. Eventually, a size becomes a burden. We must consider diversifying equipment and manufacturing process to include components built at separate plants or even by private companies. Not a bad idea here. What are you guys doing up there? What the heck? Nice. You should be able to win there again. It's only two uh, single division, so um, I want—I really do want to do a general attack. But still, is it always smart to do that? I mean, then again, like there's so much territory here. Nice. Yeah, there's a lot of free territory. You can definitely see the Germans are definitely pushing in harder against these guys now. Don't want to lose too much equipment because we are doing better on artillery. And support. Oh, you know what? We're doing so well on support equipment. Since we got went grand battle plan, we got to go this way. We got to get some some of that too. And we need to get some logistic companies as well. So. That, my friends, will be a very good thing to do. Hey, we're actually pushing. Look at that. You can go here too. You should be able to. Little bit of lag. Nice. Hey, that supply trip's great. Yeah, Japan, we totally love you. Totally. Oh, 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 we're free. Nice. Alright, where are we at? Can you guys actually, like, beat up these enemy tanks? Honestly, probably not. Ooh, that's not bad. Ooh, probably not, no. Ah, uh, that sucks. God, I wish you could get more political power, though. Really wish you could get more political power. Yeah, with them pushing this hard, I want to push hard as well. I just don't think it's possible. I'm, I'm, yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Just experimenting it here, just a little bit. With you guys, I don't think I want to actually go to war with Germany, but let's do that. Cool. Mm. 50%, 80%. God dang, son. We're doing pretty darn well up there. Tank cats, nice. Hi, go. Hi, go, yes. How's Canada looking? Eh, it's slowly losing. Ottawa's the capital. Mexico's doing okay. This is disgusting as well. Unibrin's all over the place. Holy crap. Middle Africa's looking not too bad. What's God on Ganza? You're not. 
Oh, so they're not easier. Carl's doing okay. Oh, look at this. Norwegian Socialist Government. Wilhelm III is looking a-okay. -okay. Cool. Um, I think this can go in if you really want to. Oh, God, I'd love it if you just go up here. Go to Ekaterinburg and just, like, push. Actually, we might just be able to push right now. That'd be really costly, too, but we could, probably. It's 41. It's almost 42. Just go and grab the next thing for research. Such a bad idea if we do this. But the Germans are slowly advancing. Oh, yeah, that one, no. We saw that province. Oh, there. oh, look at that, nice. That's a very weak tank division. That's what we like to see here. On opens planes, there's no way they can beat us. Right, right. Go ahead. Start start attacking them more. If they have no equipment, they can't reinforce the lines, right? So... Are actually going in here? Yeah, you might be able to do okay, maybe. We'll see. There's gonna be... this A lot, a lot of the green's gonna turn into red. But the equipment they're losing, they, they literally cannot replace. So, and the more losses we take, the higher our war score will be, so. Hey, we actually made it to the board. Nice. 167,000? 170,000? They've taken more casualties than us. It's not going to last that way for a while, but that's okay. I split Tibet into two. Nice. With the power of my next trick, I'm going to split this Tibet into dose. Oh god, yeah, we need a lot of guns. Cavalry League, um, are we close to finishing this one? We are. Actually, let's do this one first, and then we'll pull it in wing. So immediately lower their influence here. I'm sorry it's taking a while. It's just, you know, guys, right? It just gets very laggy. Yes. Nice. Yes, please. Because, yeah, 100 some. Yeah, 42% is way too much for me personally. So, Hanan or Hubai? Definitely this one. Ningxia is just it's not enough people there. Mongolia just does not enough people there either. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. Now it's pretty nice. Come on. They're getting closer to capitulation. 200, a quarter million is not bad. I mean, we lost basically roughly the same, but that ain't bad, man. Especially with only limited conscription, and we get eh, only five thousand, less than five thousand a month, but still, we should be able to go and kill these guys all off, and we'll go in here next. Yeah, look at that; they're looking pretty bad. How are these guys starving? The capital's right here. How are these guys not starving? And besides, since we're, we have mutual enemies, a lot of the enemies or potential enemies are giving us free guns. So, why not, man? Why not? Could be a lot, lot worse. Nice. Oh, the Norwegian Socialist Republic is gone. Just waiting to see the capitulation menu for these guys. Come on. Come on. That's looking pretty good, too, here. Look at this. So, level 5. Almost an organizer. Almost an organizer. 96% of the way there. Oh, yes. Happy 42, everybody. Let's get some better already. You, me, and a lot of Artie. And, and finally, Tibet! We finally got Tibet. It took him long enough. Now we can use some horses. Or we could go to war Bhutan. That's not a bad idea either. There you go. Happy birthday. Some new guys. Cancel the lease. Oh, did they run out? Oh, they gave us plenty of guns. Look at that, yeah. We have the manpower. You give us the guns. We'll, we're going to go straight to Ekaterinburg, apparently. They are so close. 92% of the way there. It's a bad idea doing this, man. I'll be honest. 
Coquelin? Yeah. Coquin? What a mess. Triple Tanya? Jesus. Oof. Not bad, though. Alright. Yeah, I just don't want to get encircled up here, man. Any partisan's nice. Passive defense, maybe? Hmm, it's not bad. I mean, we could use the fuel, honestly, and the rubber. So, these guys have got to give up soon, right? Right? 90, 94? Let's say 94. 95%. We're going. A third of a million have died because of us, which is awesome, but, like, we've lost a lot of guys, too, but we don't talk about that. And now we actually can actually edit our divisions a little bit. 20 years, not bad. Yeah, we got to get some logistic companies. We really do. How's infantry looking? They're looking... Looking all right. Not great, but looking all right. We could throw these guys as arty as well. But you know what? Make them slightly thicker with infantry. There you go. Do that. Just because. We lose a couple guns, but since we're at war anyways, people are probably going to give us guns. We can use and abuse that, and then throw and make these guys 40 combat with, and with logistics eventually. So, that's my planning. Uh, Qinghai? How many people live in Qinghai? Nowhere near enough for me to court just yet. Guangxi. Ningxia. Inner Mongolia is not really worth it either. Oh, these guys are all cut off. Beautiful. And these guys are going to capitulate. If they can get the Union of Britain, that'd be great. That's literally all they need. Now, so we're going to go with war Nepal and stuff like that. And, oh, oh, just in time. Look at all that stuff. All right, so not bad, not bad. Uh, we only have to deal with this stuff. So let's keep get all the, all the score because my apologies for the cooking. And if you want to skip ahead, uh, please go right ahead. But I'm going to go and divvy up some of these points. Because they deserve most of this. Like, they pushed all the way to Asia, which I don't remember the last time. But then again, I don't play Kaiser like a whole bunch at the time of this recording. But, like, the last time Germany is actually able to fight a two front war and survive. I play a lot of Kaiser. Well, a lot more of Kaiser Redux, but still. Cool. Ooh, Sislock? I'm sorry, just, I play too much TNO. I'm like, Komi, 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 Komi. Um. I don't deserve all this, but I kind of want to take it anyways, because it looks cool. We'll have the Asian side of Russia. Why not? Ooh, that's going to kill our stability, isn't it? Oh, yes, it is. Do the Da Nang artillery plant? Uh, integrate occupied arsenals. Wait, revive roll reconstruction. Let's do that one. <clears throat> oh, it's lagging too hard because Russia's being released, so it is what it is. Redefine provincial obligations. Yeah, didn't really plan on taking. Oh, uh, maybe I sort of did. Plan on uh taking out other nations or taking out Russia. So yeah, since we're here anyways, integrate occupied arsenals. The Shenyang arsenal is unquestionably the greatest in China, but by integrating and specializing newly seized arsenals now as part of a national supply system, we may be able to ease a burden on Shenyang and improve our overall logistical capability. And I do apologize for this lag. It's lagging so badly that I have my blue mouse wheel spinning. It honestly shouldn't take this long to release, but here we are, Revive Rural Reconstruction. The rural hinterland of China has been neglected for far too long. It's time to formulate a comprehensive plan to revive development in these areas in order to join them to, be, to the richer coastal areas and bridge the urban rural divide. Nationally organized public works programs, including the reconstruction or construction of additional canals and railways, should give a boost to this development. Point you on? Oh yeah. Whatever helps lower that other group's stuff, so. That actually looks actually really good in terms of uh, just acquiring more stuff. Yeah, that's actually not bad at all. That was actually really worth it. Oh. Russian Republic, huh? I don't know if we really deserve this, but I like it. I love how solid this line is. That's beautiful. I don't know why Germany took... What, 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 what place is this? Goryev? It's not even Astrakhan. Why would you take that? Doesn't make any sense to me, but whatever. Masters of Asia, anybody? Alright, so what do we have here? Too many divisions? That's what I thought. Oh, who are you? What the heck? There you go. Um, Burma might be the one we want, might want to do. Xinjiang? Afghanistan? Can we take on Afghanistan? You try it. Since the next episode, we'll probably try to go to war with 
no, them other people, but still. Fate of Siberia. Man, I don't want to lose any more stability and stuff. Karelia. Wait, what? Wait, we don't. Oh, okay, we can do that one. Now, the Karelian Peninsula has been brought under control as the troops occupy the region. We must now decide what to do with it. Yeah, you can give that. You can have that. Yeah, there you go. Now, these guys are definitely going to have time to focus on the Union of Britain. Central Asia? Following our campaign in the steppes of Central Asia. Uh, what was that? We now control several territories of the former state of that region. The local leaders and their own politicians are petitioning for autonomy in these areas. Several solutions have been proposed, ranging from a complete partition of this region into four states up to their amalgamation into a single unified Central Asian Federation. What should we do? Um, I could do this as a puppet, but honestly... Okay, that's BS. I, I get it, but like, I don't want any more lag. I, I just... Pfft. Yeah, no. I don't care how bad it is. Guangxi... Um, Ninja, yeah, you might as well do Guangxi, why not? Yeah. Oh well, we're gonna lose that much political power because the game says so, so be it. I'm not, I'm not gonna have this much lag, I swear to god, I will not. So, we already did this, and if I have to do this again, I'm giving myself 20% more stability, 20% more war support, and more political power. So, following integration? We already took the hit. That should not fire again. The fate of Siberia. With noble Nikolaevsky in our hands, we now control Siberia and are able to decide what to do with it. No, no, I'm sorry, but no, no. I get, I guess, I know why we get these penalties, but still, no, just no. But after this one, integrated local occupied territories, limited women's suffrage. I want to get more political power because we're going to need it at this point. But incorporate local patronage networks. There's no more to every institution that meets the eye, and every good warrior builds a stronghold through a network of reciprocal partnerships, negotiated behind closed doors. With the collapse of enemy authority, there are many such individuals and institutions without a clear place in the new order. There is every reason to begin incorporating these individuals into our own networks where possible. And let's hope we get extra compliance every day, too, so. Keep improving ourselves, make ourselves better. Fighters are nice, 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 nice. We should be able to win, right? Yeah, sure. Jehol? You have a nice Jehol. Good, good, good. Hey, they, we got him. Nepal's in... Oh, uh, well, maybe not. We need so much more political power. Holy crap. Nice. Oh, Bhutan, thanks. Thanks, bros. Cool, not bad overall. Pretty darn decent, I would say. Burma. I wouldn't mind fighting the Burmese, maybe. A proposal from Mantetsu. Our representative from Mantetsu's research wing has come forward with a proposal. The acceptance of which he assures us is in our best interests. But which he insists must be kept completely secret, apparently. Following the drought of 1939, Mantetsu brought together farming experts, senior officials from agricultural God dang it, uh, organizations and academic scholars with the aim of improving agriculture efficiency and production in the Northeast. <clears throat> After months of testing, one of several research groups created a team upon farming methods using Hokkaido, which might allow the average Chinese family to earn 10 times, or 10 entire hectares of land without needing to hire seasonal workers, thus improving production and freeing up labor for factories on Shan, Fushun, and Shenyang. The Mantetsu official indicates that these methods could be spread through the dissemination of informational leaflets and Chinese instructors, themselves trained by Japanese experts, and he seemed to stress the idea that this project should be associated in every possible way from the South Manchurian Railway. After some investigation, the Army's intelligence section has determined that the Kwantung Army refused to support Mantetsu's efforts, suggesting that the two factions may be competing, or that this is simply a part of some elaborate Japanese ruse. The relatively liberal officials of Mantetsu's research wing and other bureaucratic offices have been known to clash with the conservative Kwantung Army. That's only 1%. That sounds like a really good idea, but 1% only. And new general. Until the Japanese come a-knocking. Fate of Bhutan? Oh yeah, that makes sense. After a successful campaign in the Himalayas, we now have the task to reestablish a new, new local administrative authority in order to keep peace. However, there are several options for a choice. Nope. Nope. Freedom not for you. Sound real Chinese now. It's like Tibet. Freedom? Nope, not for you. Eh, at least Manchurian model cities are not bad. We did get some extra uh, stability from that. We're still at war, which sucks, but still. Reclaim the railways. Uh, institute labor discipline. Huh. Suppress labor movements for 300 days, and we get better industrial output. Not bad. Reclaim the railways. 
mostly built by Western hands, or at the very least, funded by foreign capital, China's railways have always been as seen as a symbol of imperialism. They interest to own in, party, in part by the same American or European corporations which built them. And the time has come to formally reclaim these railways and solidify the central government's control over its own rail network, no matter the cost. Get some army XP, which we don't really need. I mean, I don't really care at this point. America's still fighting civil war. The Mindy Canyon is doing pretty darn well. I'm surprised no one here is... Oh, never mind. They are trying to invade. They're just not very smart about it, so... That's fine with us, you know. Things happen. Things happen. 36 pence cent is a bit too much. Oh, look at all this stuff we here. So, infantry equipment. Request artillery. Tanks. Armored cars. Not bad, but not interested. We got some time before I would actually choose all that stuff, so... And actually, oh, I keep saying logistics, but I always forget about it. You guys need to train. It's fine with us. These guys are looking like a gigantic mess. Then again, our political power is just so bad, so we can't really do anything about that either, which is really not bueno, but still. Ah, some artillery is always good. And after artillery, I said logistics, so we're going to go with logistics. Better already, the legation city supplies our troops, so oh, thank you so very much. Alright, so since we have so much army XP, I'm going to wait till we get logistics. Oh! Wait, what? 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 What the heck? When did this happen? Well. I guess we got to teach this old man another lesson. Oh, Canada, please get a port. For the love of God, please get a port. Please get a port. How many more divisions do you have? How, how did you... How, how... What? How did they take over with only one to two divisions? I don't understand. How? How? Literally makes no sense. Compared to territory civilian oversight, it's not bad. The second army division is not bad either, but still. Oh, hello. No? We can all give you what we need, so... Yeah, I don't understand that. Keep building for now, though. Because eventually we will eat, eat up the League of East Chinese Provinces. Like, trust me. Zhang Zongcheng. Well, honestly, it's okay if we let this go on for a little bit. Just because they're going to get bigger air bases at least. So, and maybe even some more naval bases, which would be very beneficial for us as well. So, so after that one. Um, yeah, reclaim the railways. Because it's going to hurt us, but I'd rather get rid of labor issues. The industrial policy of our nation is being threatened by the increasingly divergent interests of industrialists, union leaders, and workers. Unions serve only to divide and creating distrust, forcing the leaders of our country to compromise. Only through an intervention that solidifies the discipline and loyalty of labor organizations can the unity be forged that will allow us to move our country forward. It's going to hurt us for a little while, but that's okay. And after that, uh, what else are we going to do? Let's uh, develop the Dad Dadong Artillery Complex. Zhang Zuliang has always had an enthusiasm for big giant guns, and the Mukden Arsenal has always built its artillery at the Shenyang Mortar Factory in Dadong, a northeastern district of Shenyang. By expanding this operation into a totally separate artillery complex, we can maximize its efficiency. But I do want to ask you for your thoughts and opinions. What should we do? Uh, centralized provincial revenues, which doesn't look too bad, not great, but not bad. Or should we redefine provincial obligations? Please let me know in the comments below. Which one should we do? Because with these two, you this one eventually... To, so if we do this one, we can rebuild or building the road to federalism. Okay. And the twin dragons taming the water. Not bad. Or we go down to the generals know best versus one army, one republic, which sounds awesome. And then we get the ultimatum as well. So, um, less than 30% would be good to do eventually. So let me know. Centralized provincial revenues versus redefined provincial obligations. And we'll probably also go ahead and do reorganize these guys. Uh, yeah, why not? Because the Feng Shan Navy has no realistic way of opposing the larger, newer Navy fueled by the Beijing government, its main purpose is coastal defense, in light of recent troubling inadequacies, such as one's cr ship's crews sailing their armaments on the black market, and extensive reorganization reform is necessary, and restructuring the China Flying Corps. Originally organized by the Grand Marshal's son, Zheng Zuliang, the Corps performed well in the last war, losing air superiority only upon the arrival of more modern German piloted planes since then. It's expanded, but retains aircraft decades behind the Western standards, but uh, hey, if you enjoyed the video, nonetheless, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will probably have our war with Japan. This is disgusting. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great rest of your day.